Greetings! I am glad to assist you with this lesson using NC Labs Turtle Environment. We have practiced using X and Y arrays to draw polyline figures and more. Let's take a closer look at how we can generate these arrays for a circle. We plot the circumference of a circle as a series of short lines. To do this, we must provide the program with lists of X and Y coordinates for each point used to draw the lines. How do we derive these points? Using the parametric equation for a circle, of course. In our parametric equations, R represents the radius of the circle. Remember that circumference is defined as 2 times pi times the radius. T, or theta, is the angle between the x-axis as one radius and any other radius. T can have any value between 0 and 2 pi radians, or 360 degrees. Now, for some basic trigonometry. To get our x value, we multiply the radius by the cosine of T. For the y value, we multiply the radius by the sine of t. We need decent sized arrays of x and y values to draw a smooth circle. This is where the linspace function is helpful. We can create our arrays based on the cosine and sine of t using the linspace function, starting from 0 and ending at 2 pi for n plus 1 points. Let's step through the demonstration to see how this works. We begin by defining the variables r, the radius, on line 2, and n, the number of intervals, on line 5. Defining these at the start of the program makes it easy to try different values without overwriting the code in the main part of the program. Next, we import the NumPy library on line 8. On line 11, we use the linspace function to create our array of angles needed to calculate x and y. Again, for a full circle, our starting value is 0 and our ending value is 2 pi. Notice that pi itself is a numpy function, and that the number of points is one more than the number of intervals. This has created a numerical data array of 33 angles in radians, which we will now use to create our x and y arrays. On lines 14 and 15, we separate the parametric equation of the circle into two lines of code, one for the x array and one for the y array. Like pi, cosine and sine are numpy functions written as np cos parentheses t and np sin parentheses t respectively. On line 18, we generate Tina which is an instance of the NC Lab Turtle class. Since our Python turtle will be drawing lines along the circumference, we are going to start her at point r, 0. In other words, x equals r and y equals 0. For fun, we will color the line sand on line 19 in honor of real turtles tracing arcs through sand on the beach. To draw the lines from point to point, we use a for loop to call each item in order from the arrays. We define the range as our interval parameter in the for statement on line 22. The body of the loop on line 23 uses the go to command to draw a line to the next set of values in each list increasing the index by 1 each time. I will quickly click through the 32 iterations of the loop. Finally, on lines 26 and 27, 
we use the hide command to hide the turtle icon, then show to display the trace. The end value of 32 produces a visually smooth circle for its radius. Parametric equations are worth knowing and understanding. They are widely used in computer graphics, robotics, and other areas. Radians are also used in many calculations instead of degrees. In many cases, they make the calculation much simpler. If you copy the code from the demo into the Python Turtle app in the Creative Suite, you can experiment with different values for n and r to draw circles of different sizes and smoothness. Zoom in on the circle in the viewer to see the individual line segments. See you in the next video!